Hi everyone. So I'm sure at one point or another, a good amount of us have looked for a way inside of Unity to render in a more unique aesthetic, uh, something similar to comic book illustrations or painterly effects or cell shaded effects, very much in the vein of Breath of the Wild or perhaps Guilty Gear, uh, something that, you know, the aesthetic that you would see in some of those games. So what I wanted to do in this video is just make a really quick video, just letting the other developers know that there is a free resource out there that is current and updated for all three of the rendering pipelines. And it's really robust with lots of features and officially supported by Unity. And I thought this was too good not to share. So I'm in the Unity editor here and I'm using Unity 2022.1.14 F1. If we go into Unity Hub, and I go to install editor, you will see the LTSs and then you will see down here where your official alphas or betas are that will probably soon enough become an LTS. And so I, I do have the LTS installed, but I also like to look ahead and see what improvements are going on in the editor and newer versions. So I am in the 2022 series here. It looks like 15 F1 is one version newer than what I have. But this tune shader that I'm getting ready to demo here does work in this version uh, for sure. So instead of going through Google and Googling how do I create a tune shader or where do I find one that's free or low cost, uh, here we go. And inside of Unity's official documentation here, we see the Unity tune shader based on the Unity Chan shader, which has been around a really long time. Uh, but there's been quite a few iterations. And if we look at this, it does look a lot like the rendering aesthetic for Guilty Gear. It looks a lot like a 2D illustration or comic book. It's really nice, really unique, very vibrant, um, and definitely a good way to make your project stand out. So this is a high level in the documentation here. I'm not gonna stop on a lot of the specifics, but it's really cool the different lighting uh, scenarios that you can um, implement here. I do like that it allows for map cap shading, which is really nice. That is uh, really optimal for things like mobile and stuff like that, where your platforms are pretty limited. Though do not quote me on that uh, for the, you know, considering the expense or overhead of this shader on mobile, I have not tested it. So I don't know. It does look like this is probably a pretty uh, complex shader with multiple passes. But again, um, it does probably use a more simplified lighting model. So this looks really cool just on this material ball here. I don't have too much more technical to say about that, but there are a lot of sliders and features in the editor that you can use uh, to get all these different looks that you like. Um, so some of the requirements and gotchas, one of the great things, so there are going to be pros and cons with this. Uh, you do need to be on something newer than 2019.4. Um, one of the great things about this is it supports the built-in, it supports URP and HDRP. Uh, but there may be different approaches and the shader may render slightly differently uh, depending on how some of these rendering pipelines implement things such as stencil buffers called out here. Um, it also uses forward rendering. So if you're a deferred project, uh, this is something that probably won't work for you. But if you are forward uh, based, then you're probably good to go. And again, it's in linear, not gamma. Uh, you could probably use Gamma if you have to, if you're stuck to that. But again, you may not render in the way that you expect. And one of the other gotchas here that they wrote is we are currently unable to test on consoles. So I can't say if the console aspect works. Now there are, this is information on how to install. I'm going to go back to that a little bit. And then there are samples, which I'm going to demonstrate as well. And then um, some details on all of the different features in the shader, very detailed information on the features in the shader. So where do you get this shader and how do you install it? Um, in Unity Technologies official repo for the tune shader here, this is where you would grab this and um, there are going to be some instructions in here on how to get this going on. So as you scroll down to the readme at the bottom, there is a ton of information in here on how to use this, how to use the samples, all of the different settings and how what role they play. Um, so again, here's another high level at this showing all the different things that this shader can do. Um, all of the different features. Um, 
and some instructions on how to get specific looks. So again, some of these requirements and gotchas, um, this one's sort of important. These are limitations. So built-in rendering pipeline, URP and HDRP are good to go. Um, but the editor compatibility can be a little bit specific here. It does work in 2020.3, 2021.3, and 2022.2. As I showed, it does work in 2022.1. Um, it's saying that some of the functions don't work in 2021.1 or 2021.2, and they're not possible and they won't be supporting that. So it's very specific with these two versions. Um, and then it has a minimum and a maximum. And I really like that they've laid this out and addressed this because there are no gotchas or hidden surprises generally. Uh, depending on the specifics of this sort of version of the editor that you're grabbing. Um, so render compa pipeline compatibility and then installation. So one of the things that you want to do is make sure that you have Git installed on your system and your OS. So here is Git and it is free and open source. So don't sweat that. There is a Mac build. So if you're on a Mac, I really don't know the status of Linux on here. I could dig through here for the folks that are on Linux, but again, I don't know. Uh, I'm absolutely positive there's got to be some approach to having Git installed on Linux, but don't quote me. If you are a Windows machine, here is the latest download for Windows. Follow through all the prompts and install that into your operating system because you will need that for delivery of this package. And again, you'll, you'll need this you'll need Git for quite a few, for basically any of the packages that you want to deliver through Git, unless again, you are downloading repos as a zip file and unbundling that way. So you want to use the Unity package manager window in Unity. Here is a little screen grab of that. And this is the name of the package right here. And I'm gonna just show you how we do this real quick. You can also grab a specific um, preview version of this if you want some kind of feature that they've iterated ahead of what's sort of in the main core stable branch. And it has some feature that you really need. Uh, it's already integrated, but for example, say there weren't outlines and you wanted outlines. So you would jump ahead to that preview version for outlines. I'm just gonna grab the base URL here and we're gonna jump back into the Unity editor. We're gonna go into window, package manager, and this little arrow, you have this here my assets, Unity Registry, all of that, but you have a little arrow over here where you can add packages in different means. Okay, so we can do it from a Git URL or by package name. We have the package name, com.unity.tuneshader, so we're just gonna click add that way. And we're waiting for that to add. Um, as we do that, there is a what's new in here, which is kind of nice. And it shows you the change log of all the different things that they've added and some of the support for different um, editor versions, stuff like that, which is really good. The get starting guide is pretty much where I started and it lets you create just a basic cell shaded shader here and exactly all of the different things you need to do. I mean, they have laid everything out, which is really great. This is how this is how a lot of the documentation for any feature in the engine should be. It should be highly visual with common language. Um, and I think this sets an example for a lot of what the documentation should be. So as I'm coming back over here, it has installed and I am on the 8.1.preview. There are samples down here on the right. So here's the built-in rendering pipeline samples, HDRP samples, I am in URP. So I'm going to import in the URP samples and give it a moment while it compiles this. And again, I'm in 2022.1.14F1 um, and it's supported. So here we go. A new folder has come in called Samples, Unity Tune Shader. And there are a bunch of scenes in here uh, for all kinds of stuff. So we'll just load some of this stuff up. This looks like a neat sort of billboarded uh, matte cap shader. Um, let's just go here. This is very much the look that we saw in the documentation and the examples. It looks really cool, just out of the box, just working really out of the cool. And like some of the stuff like the anisotropic uh, highlighting here that you see on the hair, 
these sort of line striations, they look painterly, which is really cool. And they make it look like hair, which is really cool that a tune shader supports something like that. Um, what do we have here? Firefly. So I guess if we hit play, I haven't looked at this. So it is showing how the tune shader is responsive to different real-time lights, more than one. And again, real-time. Um, that's really cool. I haven't looked at a lot of these examples. Basic cell shaded example, again, responding to real-time lights in the scene. Um, it's just awesome. I think it is. And I think this is a resource that if you're going for this aesthetic, uh, I wouldn't overlook it. So I have this sphere in my scene, and I'm just going to hunt through their examples here. And uh, some of them have texture maps applied. So on this sphere, it's a little bit strange. But this green one looked cool. And right away, that looks really cool when I look in my game here and go over there. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty awesome. So I hope, uh, rolling back around here again, I hope that this um, Unity Tune Shader helps these, a lot of you devs out there um, integrate this aesthetic for painterly or illustration style that you want in your games. Thank you for watching.